Do y'all see my hair? I'm doing a moose only wash and go. Who would have thought? The do. The do, moose, death. Seriously though, I really couldn't make moose work. I couldn't figure it out and I just wanna give it a try. It's springtime, it's warm outside, it's gorgeous outside. I recently spoke about using creams and I will be trying out creams, but right now I wanna start something different. The best time to do it is now into the summer and so I'm gonna be doing a mousse only wash and go series. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how long this lasts. I decided after I did my Olaplex treatment today that once I rinsed out my conditioner, I'll just start this now. I'll just go in with the mousse. Now. I'm starting off on freshly washed hair, freshly treated hair. My hair is still damp. I have my spray bottle right here, handy dandy spray bottle. I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna take my spray bottle. I'm gonna make sure my hair is pretty wet. I don't think it has to be soaking wet, but I don't know. I feel like really wet is ideal. Took five pumps. Y'all, my main worry is that my hair is gonna be dry. And although I do do my hair, well, I haven't been doing it as often as I like, but the idea is to do my hair often, I don't want it to feel dry. <laughs> so we'll just see. I've heard really good things and I've seen good things, so I will be positive. It's feeling good as I'm working this in my hands. I think that was a good amount. It wasn't too much. And I'm going to take the Felicia Leatherwood, trying to be gentle because I don't have anything else in my hair and that kind of worries me. I need to zoom in, give me one second. Okay, now you guys can see better. So we're getting somewhere, look at the curls. Oh, look at the curls. You guys see that? I was not expecting that. Look at you. I'm gonna continue to take small sections then. And finger comb it through, I guess. I'm taking a little bit more. Girl, this is moose. I'm taking more than that. I'm trying to get down to my root here. Oh, cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let me keep going. Oh, okay, okay, I have hope, I have hope. Sorry if the, the lighting makes it off because my mirror does have a light on it, but I need it. I'm so excited. This is so cute. So I just took like five more pumps and I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna put it on that entire section. And then I'll just split it. Check it out, check it out. What does it look like, you guys? I've noticed like sometimes when people use their brush and they just kind of brush it out and they don't really separate the curls, it can look really flat and that can be a look for them. But that's not, I really like big curls. Like I really like big curls. That's my thing. Y'all, I'm liking this Denman. I'm really liking the new Denman. I can really feel a difference between the two, but I said that was for another video, but I'm still talking about it, look at me.
Okay, let's look at the back. Oh my gosh, I really like this. I love how this feels. Y'all, I'm going so slow at 6.15. I started at 5.50. The back took me 25 minutes. I'm a slow poke. Y'all, I'm trying to make sure I'm like going all the way to my roots. So my roots aren't so poofy, you know? I'm just putting any excess on my roots. I'm gonna do as much as I can right now because my camera is about to shut off for some odd reason and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all once I get to the front. Okay, y'all, I'm done with the back of my hair and this is gonna dry so freaking fast. It's already, it's already drying. Look at the movement. It's been exactly an hour. And mind you, this is my first time doing this, so I'm going pretty slow. I go pretty slow when I'm doing my hair too. I'm trying not to touch it so I don't mess it up. I'm still taking a lot. I'm taking like five pumps per section. And I'm even adding more once I split those sections. I notice when I'm like looser with my hair, when I'm trying to detangle, it's a lot harder. But when I just have a firm grip and I'm stretching it, it's not curling back up on itself. So it's just easier to keep the tangled for when I'm styling it. But if I let it shrink back up, it's, it's just gonna, I'm gonna be over detangling the hell out of my hair. As many of you may know, I really tend to dislike mousse because I haven't learned how to make it work for my hair. This is my attempt to just keep trying and seeing what the error is that I'm doing and making sure that I can correct it as best I can to see if it actually works for me. I watched the owner's video on YouTube about how to use it and really I'm just excited to learn. I know it's not going to be perfect the first time, but it was really fun to use. And when it comes to my hair, enjoying the process really matters to me. She wasn't playing when she said there's leave-in in this because I'm surprised my hair isn't like disgustingly dry right now. I'm probably gonna redo the center of my head. It's looking like frizzy and puffy. Yeah, I'll redo that, that's fine. Now we are on the final stretch. It has been like an hour and 20 minutes. I really just wanna get it directly on my roots. So that's what I'm worried about missing. So I wanna see how this dries.
I'm splitting this. I'm going this way with these guys. I'm about done. I'm just doing the center section. Some of it I'm going towards the back. I'm just evenly like going around and working my way. I am finished, finito, done. I'm gonna add the rest of this that's on my hands around my head. Y'all, my curls look so good. Ooh, it's gotten dark outside. My curls look good though. They look so good. I'm excited. This is something I really cannot touch. I'm about to sit under the dryer because if I touch this, it's gonna get frizzy and that's not what I want. Here's what my curls look like before I sit under the dryer. Don't they look almost dry? And look at the freaking definition. I don't know what the back looks like. I hope it looks okay. I'm not too confident on that, but it's the back, so I'm okay with that. I just sat under the dryer for like 30 minutes and it started to suck up my hair a little bit, but it's definitely 100% dry. Um, it dried really quickly. I don't know what the back looks like, but it does not feel as defined as the front. Feels really puffy at the roots. I am going to take my blow dryer and stretch my hair because this isn't working for me right now. So it's stretching nicely. You can see the difference between this and this. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down. So I have it on like the hot, I have it on the two, but I hold down the cool shot after I've stretched it so that it can cool that area off so it can just stay where it is. I feel like if it stays hot, it can move around some more if that makes sense. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Bro, do y'all see my hair? Oh my God. Do y'all see my hair? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. When it was completely dry under the dryer, I was like, I don't know about this. Like, I, I don't know. So I thought when I stretched it, it had lost that softness because it was like really molded. Bro, my hair's getting long. Look at this. This is what y'all been trying to tell me. Is this what y'all been trying to, oh. Is this what you've been trying to say? <laughs> what? How do I preserve this? Cause I can't just put a bonnet on it. It's gonna ruin it. I'm gonna have to stretch it. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some, some thingy things, but oh. This is my day one hair and I'm shooketh. I am shocked. This wash and go is crazy. I didn't know Moose did this. By itself, I really did not. I thought it was gonna be a frizzy mess because I've seen people. I've seen people use it. Some people's hair, okay. Other people's hair closer to my essential elements, closer to my texture, no. It just wasn't, it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. And I got a lot left in here, I got a good amount. I got a good amount left in here, like over half the bottle is left in here. And I got a lot of mousse. I'm not gonna tell y'all what mousse I got because you're just gonna have to subscribe and you're gonna have to turn on your notifications. Oh, it's stunning. Oh, I'm in love. Does the back look okay? I don't know. Ugh. I'm gonna use some satin scrunchies that I got from Untwisted Hair. They're Kitsch Beauty, Kitsch Beauty satin scrunchies to kind of stretch my hair, really just focusing on the roots. I'm not gonna like band or anything, but I wanna keep my roots nice and stretched out and I wanna keep the volume going. Um, I hope I can get like three days out of this and I'm good to reset my hair. This was fun. 
I actually had fun doing this, so I'm excited. Ooh, I look kind of crazy. I'm looking like it. I don't know, hopefully this works. I'm gonna throw on my bonnet and go to sleep and I'll show y'all what it looks like tomorrow. Hopefully things stay put. I might have to wrap it around. No, I don't wanna wrap it around twice. I'm just gonna take a chance. Since we got pink vibes going, I'm getting my pink glow by day bonnet. I love these bonnets. I'm working on getting a discount code for you guys. But until then, I'll just leave the link below because if you want them, get them. Whether I have a discount code or not, find somebody's discount code though. Get your little 15% off. Support somebody. I'm going to just put it on like this. Tuck that like down. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know what to do with this. I guess I'll just tuck this under, push this side back. I'm sorry if the lighting looks weird. I feel like I look really bright anyway. It is time for me to go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow on day two. It is day uh, day two. It's day two of the do. Let's have a look. All right. So, ooh, it still appears to be very, very defined. Look at you. Okay. So let me go ahead and slide these off. Oh, it smells divine. It smells great. Feels great. Oh, this is nice. Okay. I am going to take my Weed Out Botanical Boost Spray and loosen this up and get it to where I like it. Taking my Weed Out Botanical Boost Spray, I'm going to spritz that all over. I thought spraying it would be helpful, but I think it made it worse. I don't think I should have sprayed that much. Oh, look at the curtains. Okay, it looks, I don't know. I gotta work with it. It looks kind of odd the way it is now. And I think I would have to, I think I would have to stretch it out better at night in order to get it to take the shape that I want it to because while I like this a lot, the shape is kind of doing its own thing and I don't really like that. So on the plus side, it's giving me the volume that I want with definition. However, there's some unruliness to it that I don't quite like and I can't figure out how to get it to do what I want it to do. Uh, so that's a little frustrating right now, but uh, hmm, I suppose I could put it up. Ah, <laughs> that looks kind of awkward too. Um, I'm really at a loss because on one end of the spectrum, this gives me what I want it to give me, especially on day one. But on the other end of the spectrum, am I gonna have to do this every day? I, I don't think so. Will I need to use heat with this every day? A uh, certain level of heat can be doable, but every day, probably not. And as you can see from using the botanical spray, my hair is starting to curl up, it's starting to uh, be frizzy and it's just starting to recoil on itself. I'm going to have to use a lot of mousse to hold my hair. Like a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of mousse. Or I'm gonna have to do my hair every day. I've shown you guys my day, my day two hair. This is what it's giving me. Um, I'm not a fan, but I'm sure I could make it work and that's what's important. I will zoom in and give you all a closer look. I've learned four things. One, be heavy handed. I need a lot to achieve the definition with hold. Two, apply more product to the roots and mids of my hair. Three, find a better way to preserve the finish style at night. And four, I may have to reset my hair every other day. Let me know what you guys think and let me know of any tips that you have. My really issue, my only issue is you see how it's just so frizzy and undefined at the roots of my hair. So I will have to use a lot of this. I will have to use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Which, okay, all right, will do. As long as it gives me the look that I, that I desire, so. On to the next, I will see you there.